everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. This is um, our card for today and for the weekend. Um, sorry I haven't been able to upload onto YouTube. I've had some technical difficulties. There seem to be quite a lot of changes going on with um, being able to post to Facebook, Twitter, Periscope. Uh, for some reason Periscope's not saving down to the phone, so you can't just directly upload it from there. So it's become quite a pain in the neck to um, upload to all the different platforms. So, you know, all these different security measures that people are putting in place, um, different things like Twitter, Periscope, Facebook, just seem to have tightened everything up so that nothing really properly uploads now. So you have to do everything individually. So, sorry, um, I've not been able to pop anything up onto YouTube, um, but that's because of things that are happening with other platforms that have kind of affected that. So apologies, um, what I'll try and do is try and get around that somehow so that I can pop things up here. Or what I might do is a YouTube live, which means you guys can then replay. Um, having a bit of a debate about what I'm going to do at the moment. So for today, I'm just going to pop down a couple of cards for us. And the first card I've got is the wheel. So interestingly enough, we're talking about changes and the way that things are being done at the moment and needing to make a change to the way that I do these videos. So the wheel talks about changes. Um, it's usually change for the better. So I'm really hoping that that's gonna be um, applicable to what I, I'm trying to do on here. Cause I don't want to sort of let you guys down and not be able to upload each day, but it's very difficult to upload to my Facebook and and, and all the other stuff. I might try Instagram Live or something. I'm going to have a little investigate anyway and see what to do best. If you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, there will still be things going up um, like the um, unboxings and stuff like that. Um, and I will will try to make sure that I can get these daily cards up um, as, as often as I can. Um, I want to really be able to do it daily, but I need to find the quick and easy route and I'm struggling at the moment. So... The wheel is all about that. It's all about you know finding the solution, moving things along, being able to figure it out, being able to make changes, changes for the better coming in for us. So for kind of Friday into Saturday, you could expect to be able to see some changes happening around you. Um, anything that's felt a bit stuck starts to move. Anything where you felt like you've been a bit unlucky. Um, the wheel is in, in the tarot, this, the Fortnite deck is quite a modern tarot deck. Um, in the traditional tarot, quite often the wheel is called the Wheel of Fortune. So it does talk about that. A change in your fortunes or a change in your luck. It is usually for the better, but it depends what other cards we have around it in a reading. Um, when I'm looking at a daily card, it stands alone. So um, <coughs> I look at what part of this card I'm drawn to, and I'm drawn to the lighter side of the card. So that to me is saying that we're changing for the better. Things are moving forward. Um, so it's a lovely, lovely card to have for the beginning of the weekend. The card I've gone and put down for the second part of the weekend is the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands talks about feeling a bit up against it, really, a bit stuck, a bit like I've got too much on my plate and I might be feeling a bit defensive. You know, if somebody's kind of saying, oh, can we do this, can we do that? You might just want to go, no, I don't want to do any of that. I'm just going to stop it. I just need to, I need to just not be so bogged down this is a card that asks you to um think about that energy you might feel really defensive you might feel like you need to protect yourself in some way um it's not necessarily that somebody's coming on the attack for you this can come along because you've put a load of pressure on yourself so really good idea when this card turns up is to ask yourself what pressure do i put on myself do i what have i what have i got that I absolutely have to do and what have I got around me that I may not actually need to do so it's about sort of having a, a look at what is necessary and what is not um, it's quite a tough energy the seven of wands because it is just like oh I feel so pressured and you know so much going on and I've got no time and my you know you can see the guy's kind of got his head in his hands a little bit he's looking at all this paperwork thinking oh my god um, what do I do so it asks you to kind of look at what's essential do you have to do it all um can you narrow it down can you leave some things or could you delegate you know could you ask for some help for somewhere so that's the energy of the seven of wands that's around us on sunday so you know sundays traditionally 
you want to be a little bit more relaxed you know get yourself into maybe um, having a bit of a chilled day before you go back to work on Monday so it's just asks you to have a look at what you're taking on are you putting too much pressure on yourself or are you allowing other people to put too much pressure on you if so might be time for you to kind of say <coughs> actually do you know what no I need a little bit of a break um, I'm going to pop down one of these mystical shaman oracles and just see what we've got going on with these lovely cards let's see shaman is the lower world now I've had this before this actually so far and I haven't really worked with all of these cards because obviously they haven't all come up yet um, but I've been through them all obviously and I've kind of touched them and had a look at them all and, and sort of just generally tried to tune into them this is my favorite card in the whole deck I just love it <coughs> excuse me um, I just love the whole energy of this card it's so beautiful it has so much there's so much going on here you know things that don't jump out at you straight away you've obviously got this tree um and you've got these mountains and you've got all the water and all the reflection in there um you know you've got lots and lots of little things you might have noticed a little cave here there's a doorway here that looks like it is closed there's another doorway here that looks like it is able for you to walk through lots and lots of little guiding lights around in this card um you know there's a fence here or there's so much there's just i love it there's so much going on in there it's like if you look in here there's like a little heart you know so it just depends what part of the card you're drawn to when you're reading them um in terms of a general meaning of this card like a, for a card for the day the lower world asks you to look into you know your subconscious and um, kind of go in there and have a little look and see what's happening. I will just read you what it says in the description of this card um, and see if there's anything that jumps out to us um, extra to what we've picked up in here before. So the essence of the card is the lower world holds the hidden treasures of humanity. It's a place of rich and fruitful darkness where we can find, dis, find disowned parts of ourselves and abandoned aspects of our psyches. The lower world is a place of our ancestors, where we discover gifts and lessons from the past. It's the realm of the collective unconscious, and we can meet our demons and transform them into pure energy and, so, and a source of personal power. So um, it's, it's quite union in its feel, you know, this whole this whole idea of the collective unconscious something that we all as a, as a race of human beings that we all have with us you know that it comes from the people that have come from the past and you know our ancestors from years and years and years and years ago that have long passed you know stuff that is held within that collective collective unconscious that we just know in life you know things that we just somehow know um it's come from the very very distant past through uh, the collective unconscious um, so the invitation with this card is it is time to unearth your hidden treasures do not make yourself small in order for others to like or accept you bring out the gems and precious stones that you've kept inside your heart hidden even from yourself it's time to honor your past and recast your life as a heroic quest as you journey into the lower world you'll be offered all the gifts of your ancestors their struggles the way they hurt the way they lived and the way they died um, all of these things will become blessings so it's about you know being able to understand where you come from um you know what you've got going on in your subconscious what you have going on you know sort of on your maybe in your darker side there's light and dark in all of us and it's being able to embrace that um i've had quite a lot of that stuff coming up for this weekend in other cards and other um, workshops that i belong to this kind of whole subconscious this shadow side things that are going on on that on that level so being able to embrace that you know if you've got a bit of yourself that actually <coughs> you know you might be a really vibrant outgoing person and that's the face that you show to the world but this weekend you might not feel like you want to do that 
you might be feeling a little bit like this. I don't want to engage. I don't want to. I want to be defend. I want to defend myself. And I want to spend a little bit of time on my own. I want to be. I want to be antisocial. Um, you know. So there is a part of that that's, that's in that lower world, in that subconscious. What is that about? When you need that time out, what what's what do you kind of need to do? What do you nurture within yourself while you're doing that? That's where you find your hidden gems when you kind of do those things. So. I will leave that with you for this weekend. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, I'll be back on Monday to do another card for the day. I'm really, really hoping to be able to work out how to do this better, um, how to get this up at the, the, in the different places, because I'm aware that a lot of the people on my YouTube might not follow me on um, Twitter or Facebook. Um, I, will put, I will put the links to my other pages and, and places that you can find me in the description below it's always in the description below but i'll bold it up so that you can see it properly um and um so if, if you're having trouble finding me daily on here um there are other ways of doing it there is periscope there is twitter i do it will be put up on my facebook page um and it will also be um maybe having a go at trying to put it onto instagram doing instagram live or something like that so do feel free to find me in, in other places. I'll still be here on YouTube. I'm just hoping that by giving you a little bit of extra information, you might you might find it a little bit easier if you haven't been able to catch up with me for a daily card. Um, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to put them up though. So bear with me. Thank you very much. And I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.